What's up guys, it's your boy Nebula here, and today we are going to be showcasing pretty much everything in this box. Basically almost all the Lumians in the game. There is more to be showcased, Cop Cop, Gekla's evolution, but we're just going to showcase Gekla for now with the same DPs and UPs and stuff, um, and the moveset that I'm going to run. But yeah, let's get into it. So first off, Upset Jukon. A lot of people have been requesting Upset Jukon, and this thing... I just run pure clever with Hell Amulet. Pretty good. If you don't run that, then you're probably either running Brawny or Robust. But I'm running clever. Um, Resilience. So Resilience basically boosts your melee defense every time you are hit by a melee attack or any attack actually, which is really good, especially when going against melee attackers, because then you can just set up sharpen on them and kill them. So <laughs> with this move set, you can pretty much kill any Lumion. Obviously, you are going to have to watch yourself though against light types still, but it's still pretty good moveset. Obviously, you could switch out the moveset with like other things, but that's the moveset I run. Um, also, you have to have the hidden ability for resilience, so if you don't have hidden ability opposite you gone, uh, you probably should get it. Alright, TPs. I run 196 HP, 104 melee defense, and 200 R defense. So, 200 R defense obviously for that ranged defense bonus from the pre clever. Um, <coughs> 104 melee defense, um, mainly just for like the extra defense. Um, and 196 HP. Because I think you can survive. It has something to do with um, Icicle Trap. I don't remember. But yeah, just run 196 HP. It'll be good. Alright, T Clips. T Clips. I run Nimble. Obviously, people can run Smart too. I run Nimble though. Um, I run Dodge, Scapegoat, Luminous Roar, Raging Howl. I'm honestly, might, I honestly might replace Dodge with um, like, the Spurs. Or whatever that move is. Whatever setup move he learns. Because. I rarely use dodge, like, I use dodge like once every five battles, so, it's like, eh, do I really need it? Because there's been so many times where I could like predict the rest or anything, or something, or like a switch it, and I could have um, like dispersed and get that extra range attack and do more damage, but, yeah, I had dodge, so, you can either run dodge or disperse or whatever that movie learns. And I run Scapegoat, obviously, for sweeping teams, Luminous Roar, and Raging Down, so, yeah. Also, I have Hidden Ability, Total Eclipse, so that's really good if you don't have it. Um, the UPs, I run 100 HP, 200 R attack, and 200 speed. Um, you can run different UPs, but these are the UPs I run, and yeah. Shouchi. Shouchi? Frail Nipple. But... Just because it's frail doesn't mean you can't use it. Like, just like the previous one I showed you, like T-Clips. Just because it's frail doesn't mean you can't use it. You can still use it. It's still usable. Um, I run Mystic Wand. It's hidden ability, obviously, so I don't miss foul chance. Pretty much 100% accuracy no matter what. And Elemental Burst, Peace of Mind, foul chance, health kit. It's hard to get this thing in battle. I'm not going to lie. But once you do and you get like a couple setups, you pretty much lose. <laughs> like, you... Pretty much lose unless a melee def like best product comes in, then you lose. But yeah, well hold on, let me show you the TPs. I run 200 best range attack, 200 speed, and 100 HP. All right, best Baradu. Okay, best Baradu. I run clumsy nimble. Obviously, you can run pure nimble. I wouldn't run frail nimble or any minus defense nimble. Or maybe you could. It's not that big of a deal. Um, Dark Essence. Uh, I run Phantom Slash, Lapdown, Sharp, and Revival. Honestly, you can replace Phantom Slash with Shadow Sprint, which is what I might do in the future. But for now, I just use Phantom Slash. Obviously, Shadow Sprint might be better in the future. But you know, just for now, I'm just running Phantom Slash. Um, I'll probably switch it up in the future. And, yeah. TPs are 100 HP, 200 melee attack, and 200 speed. Uh, helps you out speed a couple things, especially with Nimble. 
actually has really good attack. And with Sharp Claws, that makes your attack even higher. And 200 Festive. Yeah, that's really good. Alright. Zulong. Pure Nimble Hidden Ability. Honestly, you should start running Hidden Ability Zulong and try to get Pure Nimble. Obviously, you can't get it all the time, but I'd try to get it if I were you. Um, I have Ancient Essence. And this is where the Hidden Ability comes into play. Third Strike, Chili Chomp, Elemental Burst, Dodge. Brute Force helps, like, do more damage, like, in general. So, like, your Chili Chomp will be doing more damage. Your Elemental Burst will be doing more damage. Thunder Strike will be doing more damage. The only downside is, like, you can't get paralyzed or freeze or any of that. But it's still worth it for that more extra damage. Because then you can do, like, like you can two-shot Lumines that you couldn't before. Or, um... Like, take out Lumions that usually won't get taken out by a regular elemental person. And, yeah. Um, TPs are around 100 melee attack. Um, this is for Chili Chomp. Obviously, with Brute Force, helps do quite a bit of damage to bug types such as Florin and Terra Fly. Um, 200 art attack and 200 speed. Obviously, just looking at the base stats, you should be able to tell why I do this. And, yeah, let's go to Florin. You're clever for it. So, I run Drain Orb on mine. Um, with Hidden Ability, you'll see why. Drainage, so basically when I Sap Plant someone, and I, and let, it's like just a regular Sap Plant, I'll probably gain like 60 HP back just off that one Sap Plant. It's pretty OP if you don't have it. So, I recommend getting Drainage on your Pure Clever for it. Um, I run Dodge, Poison, Wonder Herb, obviously for Poison. Wonder Herb for like clearing up poisons. So let's say someone else poisoned my Florent or my Tadpa. Or let's just say just someone in my party. So that Gekla, for instance, say it was poison. If I Wonder Herb and I was on the field and he was just like sitting right here in the party waiting to use and he was poisoned, then Wonder Herb would get rid of that. It's pretty good. Um, I run 200 HP, 100 melee defense, and 200 R defense. Obviously, you could run different TPs besides this, but for now, this is what I run, and I actually think it's pretty good. So, yeah. Um, Terrafly. I still run Smart, because I haven't bothered to train up a Brawny one, but you should probably start running Brawny now. Um, I still use Toxic Essence, um, mainly for the reason that it still does. Um, it can still do a lot of damage on the ambush switching, so... Yeah, if you don't run Toxic Essence, I mean, I guess you can run Bug Essence, but for now I just run Toxic Essence. I might run Bug Essence in the future. I run Poison Barbs, Dodge, Parasitize, Mug Blast. Um, you should definitely replace Mug Blast for Venom Chomp, I think, if you are running Brawny. I'm only running Mug Blast because I'm smart, but if you are Brawny, I definitely recommend running um, Venom Chomp. And Ambush, obviously, you want to get that Ambush ability. You can get this by catching a Grubby with Premonition, I believe. So, yeah. I run 200 R attack, 200 um, M defense, and 100 M attack. Obviously, if you're running Brawny, you should run 200 M attack, 200 melee defense, and... Or, you don't have to run melee defense. You can run, like, speed or something. So, like, a speedy one. So, like, 200... Um, melee attack, 200 speed, 100 HP, or you can just do what I do, it's 200 M defense, or 200 M attack and 100 HP, either of those work, you can do any set, it's really all your preference on what you want your Terrify to be doing. Alright, so I'm only going to go over a couple more, because this video is getting way too long. Um, Wiki Wiki, alright, I run Pure Clever for Wiki Wiki. Drain Orb, obviously. You don't have to run Drain Orb. You can run, like, Health Amulet or something. It's probably better, but for now, I run Drain Orb. I run Wonder Herb, Poison, Sap Plant, Health Gift. Oh, wait, this is supposed to be Dodge, but I was, like, doing some breeding, so. Um, yeah, this could be Dodge, so Wonder Herb, Sap Plant, Poison, Dodge. Basically, the same moveset as Florent, except Florent's not that good. I mean, Wiki Wiki's not that good. Um, however, there are different movesets, so, for instance, instead of Sap Plant, I can run Photosynthesis and Wonder Herb Poison, and instead of Dodge, I can run, like, 
health gift, or I don't know, whatever, whatever other move on um, Wiki Wiki learns. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can like choose any move for that. It's all your preference. Um, 100 HP, 200 end defense, 200 R defense. I wouldn't recommend anything else besides that. Or you could do... Nah, you don't even need 200 HP. Look how much HP that thing has. Yeah, you don't even have to worry about that. Um, I think we already went over Gobademic in another video. Same with these, but I just want to show you my updated version of them. Let's go over Gekko real quick. Um, Gekko. So... I run smart, but you might want to run robust. Either smart, robust, or clever on this thing. Those would probably be the best natures. Um, for now, I run Thunderstrike, Luster Lou, and hold up, let me pull up my my thing. I'll show you guys what you should run or what I'm gonna be running. All right, so you want to have Lightning Rod on it. So if you have Lightning Rod, you're pretty much like. You're safe. Um, you could run heavy shield or um, heavy armor or health amulet, whatever you want to run. Um, but yeah, there's this move, Energize, that boosts its um, melee, no, ranged defense and ranged attack, which is pretty good, which is why you might want to run robust and do 200 M defense, 200 R attack, and like some speed, or you could just do like. Uh, like 112 speed, 188 M defense, 200 R attack, just to get like faster than Lumions that usually would take you out. It's probably what I'm going to be running in the future, but for now, it's smart. I'm going to try to go for a robust one, but yeah, you want to run Thunderstrike, either Luster Loot or Gamma Pulse. Um, since I'm running Heavy Shield on mine, I'm going to run Gamma um, Luster Loot. Um, Taze and Energize. That would be the best moveset, in my opinion, for this thing. This thing is actually OP, guys. I don't think you guys realize this, but I almost got swept by one of these, right? <laughs> I almost got swept by one of these, but then I came back and I ended up winning the game, which is pretty cool, but... Yeah, I almost got swept, dude. This thing is nasty. Um, yeah, UPs, like I just said, 188 M defense, 200 R attack, and like 112 speed would probably be the best. And yeah, that's it for Gekko. Well. Um, I'll probably make a part two of this video, guys. Um, let me show you a couple more that I run. Um, AB Tross, I guess. I'll do AB Tross, Tad Tad, and yeah. And then I'll end the video there. Alright, so I run Pure Body, obviously, with Hidden Ability, Air Essence, obviously. If you don't run that, uh, you're probably, your AB Tross probably not that good. Oh my god, that voice card. Probably not that good. Rev up. Nose dive, purge, thunder crash, gust. Um, yeah, you can run other moves, but this is the moves that I run. I might go back to sharpen instead of gust. It's, I barely see any terrifies being ran anymore. But, you know, for now I just run gust. Okay, TP's I messed up on. This, it's not supposed to have 100 speed. It's supposed to have 100 M defense. If you have 100 M defense, like, then you'll be good, but... I wouldn't recommend 100 speed on this thing. I'd run a. I'd recommend 100 M defense, 200 M attack, 200 HP, and yeah, you should be good from there. Um, and Tad Tab, the final one. Um, I just run pure nimble with Brawler Essence, and obviously you don't want the hidden ability for this thing because Awakening actually helps it a lot. Like it helps it do massive damage, like especially with that M attack. Yeah, it does massive damage. But I run Poison, Jungle Jutsu, Mud Spatter, Life Drain, pretty diverse moveset, and it actually comes in handy a lot of the times. Um, you could run, like, other movesets, but this is probably the best moveset for Tata. So, if you're running this, you should be good to go. And these are the TPs I have on it. 200 M attack, 100 R, R attack, my bad, and 200 speed. It's really good. Um... I wouldn't recommend running anything else. This is like the best hat type set. So if you aren't running this, you're probably gonna lose to another tat tab. Like, I'm just being honest here. Pure Nimble's the best for tat tab. Better than Pirani, especially in this new meta. So yeah, tat tab pretty good. You know? If you don't run it, then I don't know. <laughs> I'd recommend at least trying or attempting to run it. It is pretty good. And you can take out 
fun for me. It's up to you. And yeah, I think that I'm gonna end it here. Um, make sure to leave a like for part two, or if you want me to cover more of these Libyans, because there's a lot to cover. There's still a lot more to cover, but yeah, for now, I'll end it here, and I'm out.